Once, there was a small town where people lived simple lives. They knew each other and were happy. Their days were filled with work, laughter, and peace. No one expected anything to change. One evening, a bright light crossed the sky. People looked up, curious. A shooting star, some guessed. But Tom, who loved stars, felt uneasy. This light was different, not like anything he'd seen before. The next day, Tom went to the hill outside town. There, in a field, he found a huge metal object. It was not a rock. It was something made, not natural. He was scared but curious. Tom ran back to town to tell everyone. There is a big metal thing on the hill, he said. People laughed. It's just a part of a plane, they guessed. But they were wrong. That night, noises came from the hill. Loud and strange. Some brave people went to look. They saw the metal object open. Inside, there were creatures. Not people. Not animals. Something new. The creatures were small and gray. They had big heads and big eyes. They did not speak, but they made noises. The people of the town felt fear. This was something from another world. The creatures brought machines. Big and scary machines. They started to change the town. They broke houses and trees. People did not understand. Why were they here? What did they want? Tom thought hard. We must talk to them, he said. Maybe they're scared too. So, Tom and some others went to the hill. They brought a white flag, a sign of peace. But the creatures did not understand. They kept breaking things. The people of the town were sad. They lost their homes. They had to leave. Where will we go? They asked. No one knew. They went to another town. They told their story. Creatures from Mars are attacking us, they said. People were shocked. Mars? How can this be? But they saw the fear in the town people's eyes. Together, they made a plan. We must learn about these creatures. We must find their weakness, they said. So, they watched. They learned that the creatures did not like water. Water hurt them. With this new knowledge, the people got ready. They collected water. Buckets, hoses, anything they could use. They were scared but hopeful. This is our chance, they said. They went back to their town. It was hard. The creatures had big machines. But the people fought. They used water. The creatures were surprised. They did not expect this. Some ran away. Some stopped moving. The town people felt hope. Slowly, the people took back their town. It was damaged, but it was theirs. They worked together to rebuild. They fixed houses and planted trees. They were stronger now. They had faced fear and won. One day, Tom looked up at the sky. It was blue and clear. No strange lights. No creatures. Just the sun and the clouds. He smiled. We are safe now, he said. We can live our lives. But they did not forget. They remembered the creatures from Mars. They knew that the world was bigger than their town. There were other places, other creatures. They had to be ready, just in case. Tom became the watcher. Every night, he looked at the stars. He remembered the night the light crossed the sky. He wanted to be sure it would not happen again. 
He wanted to protect his town. The town people lived their lives. They laughed and worked. But they were different now. They knew that anything could happen. They were not alone in the world. There were others out there. The town was peaceful again. But it was a new kind of peace. A peace that knew the cost. They had lost much, but they had gained knowledge. They were part of a bigger universe. Children played in the streets. They listened to the stories of the invasion. They looked up at the sky with wonder. Are there more out there? They asked. The adults looked at each other. Maybe, they said. The town became a place of learning. People came from far away to hear about the creatures and the fight. The town people shared their story. They wanted everyone to be prepared. They built a museum. It had pieces of the metal object and machines. It had pictures of the creatures. People looked and learned. We must understand, they said. We must be ready for anything. The museum had a special room. It was for Tom and the others who had fought. Their names were on a wall. Heroes, it said. They were remembered. They were honored. The children of the town grew up with the stories. They learned to watch the sky. They learned about the stars and planets. They knew about Mars. They were not afraid, but they were careful. One day, a child found something in the field. A small piece of metal. It was from the object. The child brought it to Tom. Look what I found, she said. Tom smiled. You are a watcher now, he said. The town had a special day every year. They remembered the invasion. They talked about what they had learned. They celebrated their strength. We are together, they said. We can face anything. The town's story spread across the world. People learned about the bravery of the town people. They learned about the importance of being prepared. We are all in this together, they said. Scientists came to the town. They studied the pieces in the museum. They wanted to learn more about Mars and the creatures. We must explore, they said. We must know more. The town became a center of research. People worked on understanding the universe. They wanted to find ways to communicate with other beings. We must reach out, they said. We must find friends. Years passed. The town grew. It became a place of hope. People from everywhere came to see the place that had faced the creatures from Mars. They were inspired. We can overcome, they said. Tom grew old, but he kept watching the sky. He taught the children. Look up, he said. Be curious, but also be ready. The children listened. They wanted to be like Tom. The town's experience changed the way people saw the world. They knew there was more out there. They wanted to be part of it. But they also wanted to keep their town safe. They balanced both. The invasion from Mars was a long time ago. But the town remembered. They kept the memory alive. It was a part of them. We are stronger because of it, they said. Tom looked at the stars one last time. He was old, but he was happy. The town was safe. The people were ready. He had done his job. The world is wide, he thought. But we are ready, 